Welcome back to another episode of K&J Podcast. I'm Justin. And I'm Captions. And now let's just get into it. Um, You're wearing a pink shirt today. Yeah, I decided to wear pink again. It's been a while because I tried doing a bunch of other color schemes. I just went back to basics pretty much. Do you believe in that real men wear pink bullshit? Uh, kind of. I mean, it shouldn't be like, oh, you know, this certain color is only for this certain gender. Like, it's just like, hey, if I look good in it, let me wear it. So... You just like, wait, what? <laughs> you contradicted yourself. You're like, kind of, and then you're like, well, not really, because... Well, I mean, I'm just like, you know, if I wear something and it's like, you know, it looks good on me, you know, I don't care, like, the color or whatever. Like, there's some colors I just don't mess with, like, orange and, like, lime green, because I'm a brown guy. Like, yellow. Look good. Yeah. I don't like yellow at all. Yeah. I owned a yellow car, too. God. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't miss that damn thing at all. I hated that car. Why'd you buy it, then? Because I thought I wanted it. You know that, like, advice I tell everyone that's just, like, dude, if you're car shopping, get what you want. So, I remember being on deployment and the opportunity arose, arise, whatever, to buy the car. Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then I already had a Mini Cooper set out, but this one was there. Yeah. Complete waste of money and time. And as soon as I started liking the damn thing, I wrecked it, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember seeing the picture of the wreck. But, Jesus. Yeah, I hated that car so much. And who'd you get it from again? Stribling. It was Stribling, yeah. right? Yeah. Man, yeah. it's weird that you had that much money to where you'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, just put it down. Like, I got to take out a loan. I got to do a whole process. You were just like, oh, I got my bank account. No problem. Well, like, you have a family to support. I don't. So it's I mean, a yeah, I guess, yeah. There's that. Very easy. I can just throw money and be okay because I don't have to feed myself. So yeah, it's not that hard. You don't even me. have to feed yourself. You could just go to base like I did the other day and eat for free. Yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you really wanted to. Maybe I should start doing that. Uh, I got what eleven months left until I transit out. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm ready to be a civilian. No, it's funny that I did that because whenever I came home after doing the last podcast, I was opening my fridge to get something. And I was like. Dude, I got food here that I haven't even cooked. Like, I had pork chops. I had freaking hamburger meat. I'm like, I'm just so lazy to cook. I don't like cooking. Yeah, I I'm mean, like so rich. I don't have to cook. Or it's like, funny. I don't like cooking, yet I have this show. Cooking with Justice, man, it's the greatest thing. <laughs> it, okay, run me through how y'all even, like, got into watching that. This and, is exactly what... So, you guys that are listening that are not on YouTube watching this, so... um Justin over here has a, a YouTube channel, if you haven't seen it. It's uh, Justin Avalos, or what, uh, it, what is it? It's, yeah, it's just my name, Justin Avalos. Uh, the links are going to be in the description on SoundCloud and on YouTube. Yeah, but go check out this channel, and you have to look at uh, Cooking with Justin uh, skits, but he has this one where it's spaghetti, and it's just the funniest thing. So, we're all, it was me... Uh, my roommate and then uh, Nicholas was all t- talking about, like, dude, what are we going to eat? Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> so you're on leave here. And I'm like, you're texting me. And then uh, Nick is just like, dude, tell them to come over and make us some spaghetti. And he just starts <laughs> laughing. I was like, I, I don't know why is, why is that so funny. He was like, you haven't seen it? I was like, what are you talking about? You know, cooking with Justin. I was like, what? <laughs> so, you know, it would be 21st century, that bitch, right? Whip out the phone, you know. YouTube and uh, we watched it probably on repeat maybe 10 times it was wonderful it was so so funny and uh, I'm glad that you took my advice and you reinstated the uh, the series yeah yeah like cause you know whenever I did that I was just I was bored and I was like I need to upload something and I was like well I could show them like a very generic way to make spaghetti like you know just prepackaged, you know, spaghetti sauce, and then, you know, just heating up noodles and just... Were you, like, pest... Wait, what would you use? It was uh, Prego. Prego. Yeah, yeah, it was Prego. Prego. Like, I usually go with that one. But, like, the funny thing is, whenever you told me this, you are like, yeah, and we started laughing, and in my head, I was like, I didn't do that for, like, comedy reasons. I didn't mean to offend, but it was <laughs> and No, 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 funny. it was funny, though, because you're like, yeah, you were just, like, so serious about mm-hmm. it that it made it better. I was like, okay, I might have to bring that back, and... I did, and it's gonna still continue to be a thing. Yeah, dude, so. you got a, uh, a surprise for the next episode, right? Yes, I do, I do. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, hopefully it gets here in time. It's That's gonna be so funny. 
So, speaking of packages, have you got your uh, your tickets yet? No, man. And uh, did you call them? Well, it's Sunday, so you're yeah, gonna make it's a phone Sunday. Call tomorrow. But you know, I I'm gonna email them tomorrow. But it's just like it kind of sucks because I'm like, I'm not sure if it just happened to me or happened to all the winners. Because I don't know how like it works with right. Like I've never won anything before, so. I don't know if it's just like a scam thing they do. Like, oh, you know, you won, you know, just promote themselves and then they just don't send it out. But I'm like, you know, I gave the people my address. Like, I even text the main person that reached out to me, you know, my address, my birthday, whatever. Why'd you have to give your birthday? I don't know. She just asked what my birthday was and I told her, I was like, shit, I'm about to win. Like, Did she ask you for your social as well? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I've, I talked to her, like, on the phone and I, and I recognize the voice. I mean, you know, radio personnel. You know, you recognize the voices a lot. So, um, you know, I thought, okay, you know, maybe it's because my mail was on hold and, you know, something happened. But then it's it's been a bit, like, I won that contest, I want to say, like, around the 20th of December, I believe, yeah. around that time frame. It's and been, so, yeah, because I wasn't even on leave when yeah, you Yeah, because it was contest. before Christmas, for sure. It was, like... Maybe a week before Christmas. So, 19th, 20th, anyway. So, I win this contest. And, you know, they ask for my, you know, all my information, whatever. And even on the application for the contest, I had written all my information. So, uh, they were like, yeah, you so know, you can get all this. Your, why do I have to re-ask you for your information? Just in case, I guess, you know. Like, just in case, like... Actually, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't like but it. either way, like I won, and it was the person. Sounds like you were excited, and you were like, "Yeah, I'll give you my blood type, my yeah, child, if they needed it, <laughs> my child's uh, <laughs> my, social security number, my and child's like, soul, right?" <laughs> no, but so you know, I was waiting. I was like, "Okay, you know, whenever I came home, I was expecting it in the mail, and I didn't get all my mail." I was like, "Oh shit!" You know what happened? So I went to the post office, talked to them, like, "Oh, you know, your mailbox, I guess, was full," which didn't make sense because the following day it was delivered like all the mail and it was mostly like magazines and stuff like that and i was looking like really hard i didn't want to throw anything away so i opened all mails like i don't see anything so i was like all right well you know let me wait a little bit less and less mail started coming so i went to the post office again and talked to them and you know they were like yeah you know everything's delivered as scheduled the person that usually handles your mail remembers your vacation hold and put it to where like he marked everything delivered on time. So I'm just like, you know, what's going on? So I gave it a little bit. I was like, okay, I'll wait till this day. Then I'll wait till this day. And it's almost like three weeks later. Still haven't gotten anything. Hmm. And it sucks because, like, I figured, okay, it'll come before New Year's Eve because a pair of tickets I won were for the football game yeah. over here in San Diego for the 31st. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, I didn't get that, so I can't go to that freaking game. And the biggest thing I was looking forward to was the Three Days Grace and Disturbed concert that I was telling you I was going to take mm -hmm. you to. Nothing yet. And uh, it's, isn't it on January 9th? Yeah, it's on the 9th. And right now it's January 6th. Yeah. So it's like... Where are they, where are they like... Uh, are they in San Diego? Yeah, they're based in San Diego. Just go so drive up and be like, hey, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Give but, me my tickets, player. Like, I'm going to email them. Like, I'm for sure going to... I might even just text the you know, person, but like, hey, you know, I hate to disturb you, yada, yada, because, you know, if I tell her directly, she could, like, ask about it or something, or like, oh, because of this, because of that, you know, it's, it just kind of sucks, like, if it was a scam, though, because I'm like, man, like, I, I really kind of, like, depending on that to, like, get something for, you know, Casey and Marie, you know, getting them, like, there was, like, a $500 gift card to, like, a jewelry place. So, once again, something nice because I couldn't really afford much this Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you told me. You told me. You yeah, told so, me. you know, it was just kind of like, man, like, if it is a scam, that's kind of messed up. I like, don't think it's a scam. I don't think so either. That's why I'm just I like... I think your mailing issue kind of just fucked you or something. But, I don't know. I mean, I've gone to the post office multiple times and asked them, you know, hey, can you yeah, look in the back, whatever... It's kind of weird that you, you've waited this long and you haven't contacted anybody, you know? Well, because I've always just given the benefit of the doubt. And I think I'm just going to be like, hey, you know, on Monday, like, hey, I still haven't received anything. Is there any way I could just go pick it up? I would like, do in that. In person. Like, five days waiting time. Yeah. They're based in San Diego. Your address is in San Diego. You know, it's kind of weird that it takes more than 
three days for it to get to your house. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm just that. I guess I'm just too patient of a person sometimes, which is weird because I'm very impatient yeah, the majority are. of the time. Like, I mean, <laughs> I make rash decisions on, you know, purchases for, sh- like, I bought a freaking hoverboard for no reason. I remember you bought that damn hoverboard, dude. I mean, it's fun, but, like, you my whole mindset was, oh, I'm going to make a video with this, and that, that never just happened. Nope. It's, it was just like, ooh, cool people have this. I want to be cool. Hey, look, what trends, trends, right? Yeah. We talked about this in the last episode. Did we? Yeah. Money management and the trends. Oh, yeah, trends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how it sucks people in yeah. to buying, like, the new Yeezys and Jordans mm-hmm. and the gold watch and all that crazy stuff. I mean, I'm not very materialistic. Like, I'm, you I'm no, I'm huge with technology stuff, like the iPad, the cameras. That's tech. I love tech. Which is materials, right? But I'm just saying, like, you know, like, the clothing and the jewelry and the nice shoes. Like, I'm not really into, like, every time I go to the mall, like, oh, do you want to, you know, shine your shoes for you? You could get this thing. I was like, I don't give a fuck about my shoes. Like, they're meant for me to have comfort whenever I walk on, like, cobblestone. They're not meant for me to, like, ooh, I'm going to show them off. Who walks on cobblestone? Well, I'm just saying. What? (laughs) You're materialistic, dude. It's fine. Somewhat. There's no somewhat. <laughs> you know what you're doing right now? I was having this conversation. I'm not going to name the person because I'm not going to put her put her on blast. But she was like, I'm a smoker. But no, she's like, I'm not a smoker because I only smoke on the weekends around you're people. <laughs> but if you smoke, you are a smoker. And she just didn't want like the negative stigma of the name attached to her. But she was like, I don't, I'm not a smoker, but I do smoke. I'm like, dude, you're materialistic. It's fine. <laughs> but what I want to talk... Because you saying that just remind me of what happened during... I think it was... Uh, the Sustex. Mm-hmm. No, no, it was... Yeah, it was Sustex. Demetrius and his driving thing. Demetrius. How he's a driver. But doesn't have a driver's license. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, that kid is so funny. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> of course I can drive. I'm a, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, but the only standard test that we have, you know, for us to legally drive is, you know, a driver's test mm-hmm. or a permit yeah. to get your license that states that you know how to drive. I know plenty of people with their license that cannot drive. I can't drive. That was not my point, but I have a license which states that I I, I know how to I know, have the basic concept. Yeah, the basic concept of driving. But he was just like, No, I don't have my license. Or whatever. I'm like, so did you ever take your driver's license? He's like, Yeah. I'm like, So you failed it? He's like, No. It's like, so if you took the test and you didn't get the you didn't achieve the license, which is a symbol that you succeeded or you passed the test, mm-hmm. then you failed the test. He's like, No. I'm like, but then you can't drive then. For me, if you tell me you don't have a license and you've taken the driver's license test and you didn't obtain a license, that tells me you can't drive. God, dude, he blew up. That was yeah. hilarious. Like, you know, I can get him out of here. I'm going to go. I understood what, like, he was saying, but I'm like, no, like, legally, you cannot drive. Like, it doesn't matter if, oh, you know, I drive back home, you know, and yada, yada, in the backwoods. Well, that doesn't matter. Here... You can't drive anywhere. Well, you can. I mean, you can. Legally. I mean, a lot of people do a lot of illegal shit. Well, I just took it the other way around. Yeah. I was being an asshole to him because <laughs> why not? And then what fucking Cameron said to him about Hellboy. So is he Satan? He's Hellboy. I, so I wasn't Satan? there for that. Yeah. Uh, it, he was just like, he took things way too seriously and got mad way just, too quick. Just young, it's fine. Yeah. He'll grow out of it, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. It's like 19, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah he's a little right. baby. Fuck. Yeah, a little baby. Doesn't it kind of make you feel old sometimes? Not at all. Really? Nope. It makes me feel old as fuck when I see when I see midshipmen that are like younger than me. I'm just like, what the fuck did I do with my life? Nope. I, I don't gauge their success. Yeah. Uh, on my success. I gotta really. stop doing that because like I always like I have a friend that went to boot camp with me. He was our RPOC. And he's already, like, a first class about to go and, you know, start the whole chief process or whatever he's about to do. But I'm like, dude, he made that shit in just four years. Yeah, like, some people, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just like, 
what the fuck did I do with my time? Like, this nah. dude has, like, three freaking warfare... Actually, I think four. Yeah, you are kind of garbage on that. I, I am. Like, the way I said it was, so like, I already got get. one. I don't need the other one. Of it's not going to give me extra money. It's not going to give me extra prestige. They took it out of the test, so it doesn't even matter anymore. Like, or not the test, the freaking, um, your evals. Did they take it out? Mm-hmm. That was the new instruction that came out. Uh, I don't know if it's implemented fully yet, but they're like, oh, you know, you need to start basing them off of, like, the professional or, like, their actual work instead of what they do outside of work. Remember whenever McPong came in and was talking about it? Yeah, I remember, but I see those people are all, they're like, you know, I'm not good. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. I don't want to get in trouble if someone hears this and they're like, oh, oh yeah. you're disrespecting the higher ups. All respect to them. Someone has to do the job. Yeah. And it's not going to be me. I wouldn't mind being an officer. I don't know. I just... One, you get paid more. The food's better. And, I mean, the work sucks. Like, I do see, like, whenever the shooters, like, are having to scramble back and forth and, like, doing also divisional shit. I'm just like, man, like, y'all earn that paycheck, so if anything. So, you wouldn't mind being an officer because you get paid more and the food is better. Well, it's not even that. It's just, like... It's kind of like a bragging thing, like, oh, yeah, I'm an officer in the Navy. Like, they're just like, ooh. You're not dumb, you sound right now. Oh, that's just in my head. What? I am dumb. Bro, I've told you many times I'm fucking dumb. What? This is not a surprise. This is terrible. No. You should, don't be afraid to be a free agent, man. If you're saying that you want to make money and eat better food, get out, go to school, <laughs> or get a better job. Mm. but you gotta start somewhere I'm pretty sure once you're like the grunt of the officers it's all the same yeah where you're just like the, the, the fucking new guy and they pick with you and shit like that yeah yeah and you don't even get to eat in the peanut gallery just like how we come up yeah that's true yeah but I don't know like I think about like you know if I had just stayed in college and gone that route you know if I were to still try going to the military or whatever like, would I have still done the officer program? Would I have just been so ignorant not to even know that was an option for me? Because I don't know shit about the Navy. Like, I came in just blind. Like, hey, I need a job. I'm about to, like, run out of funds. And I need to, like, provide for my family quick. So get me out of here. Yeah, was your daughter born? Yeah, my daughter was already born. So she was born in 2013. And I joined in 2014. So she was about to be a year whenever I went off to boot camp. Her birthday is on the 25th. And I left on the 11th of June. Hmm. So we celebrated early. That's crazy. Yeah, But I'm glad I did because at boot camp, that's when I uh, learned because Murray had wrote me a letter that she had epilepsy. Because she didn't have it prior. But I guess something happened to where like she hit her head and she had a seizure. And they're like, oh yeah, she's diagnosed with epilepsy. Maria. Uh, Casey. Maria's had it since birth. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, like... I was like, man, thank goodness I joined the military where I have, like, health care that will take care of that issue. Like, you know, help them, you know, get the medications for it, the treatments for it, all that stuff. So, like, I got really lucky that I joined at the time I did. Because if not, I would have been really screwed because I had no job and no prospects for another job. Man, completely different from my road to the Navy. It was just straight up like, dude, I've, like, partied so much. For two and a half years, well, no, so I graduated at 17, and I knew I didn't want to go to college, for a fact. I was like, I hated school. I don't want to continue school. And I was like, well, I've saved up a ton of money just doing some bullshit, working at Sonic and stuff like that. Let's just take three months off. And I'm not going to get into what I did, but I did a ton of stuff. Yeah. Experienced a lot of things. Excuse me. Experienced a lot of things. And then um, that was like three months, then I... Wasted my time around my hometown for a while, and then I got comfortable working at this job. I told you, I think I said it actually on this podcast. The uh, EMT, uh, right? No, 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 the okay. Boise Cascade. Yeah, was yeah. Making thirty, like thirty-one, thirty-two dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. And I was working so much, I didn't have time to spend it. And then I got myself a massive amounts of debt because I was like, I'm gonna pay it off because I make this much money and I never paid it off. And I was like, I'm unhappy. I kind of want to get out of here. And I was gonna move to Hawaii and live with my sister. And she, he, she was like. I'm pretty sure she just didn't want me to live with her. She was just like, hey, why don't you just join the Navy? I was like, okay. <laughs> and like, no that's fight. it. No fight. Nope. I was just like, whatever. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And man. So do you regret the decision? Or is it more like, not regret the decision, but like, 
how the careers turned out for you or I don't know I, I it's really hard to say that because first I know what happened happens I mean I know I know what happened from joining the Navy because I've experienced it. I don't know what that other road of not joining would have left me. Mm -hmm. So I can't say there's things that I have did in the military and that it's taken away from me mm -hmm. that I hate, but it's given me a lot. I've met some really cool people. That is true. I met your dumbass. <laughs> it's so weird because, like, we've talked about this multiple times. Like, how did we even, like, really, like, become friends? Because when we first met, like... I told you, I was like, man, like, we did not, like, it's not that we didn't get along, it's just that we didn't really mess with each other, like, you thought I was knowing, and I was just like, man, this dude's an asshole, like, Probably, yeah. whenever we bring up your name, the first thing that pops up usually is, like, this guy's either rude or an asshole. Remember I was called the douche forever? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, remember that. We were gonna get the patches, or I was gonna be the douche from, uh, um, Hot Dog, what was it, the party with the fucking food movie seth oh, rogan uh, uh, sausage, sausage party, party that's yeah. it oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fucking dish character yeah, yeah but it's so weird because like we were kind of in each other's circle for a while like almost four and a half years that we've been in kind of the same circles of friends and stuff and i don't think it's we started hanging out like outside of work whenever we had the deployment in south korea because that's whenever we all hung out together whatever it wasn't me and you, but we were just all hanging around each other. All right, so uh, apologies for the uh, technical issues. Uh, camera ran out of uh, storage space, but pretty much we were talking about, um, I think the last part we left off on was how we became friends, and you're talking about my YouTube uh, mm -hmm. idea to you about filming a chase scene and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just always ask me. Oh, no, I was just over here, you talking about your YouTube channel. Yeah. And whatever, and... What's so funny, um, it was called, what was that? It was, oh, The Vault. The Vault, yeah. yeah that, I Man, I've had so many names for that channel. Yeah. It was like, I can't remember past The Vault, but it was like The Vault Productions, and then went to Whitewashed Weirdo. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and then what it is now, it was just my name. It should be your friendly, your, um, your friendly neighbor, The Coconut. <laughs> would be great right no and it's funny because this isn't even my first youtube channel like that i have currently because i had one before that it was called fabled hero 2012 and it was a gaming based channel and then before, did you play fable no i'd never even heard of it you don't know what fable is no -uh. oh wow yeah you know, oh man. but uh before that i first started on youtube when i was in high school it was me and my friend uh, daniel who i actually don't even talk to anymore like we just lost contact like we were like this bro this is insane dude you had a gaming channel and you don't know what fable is <laughs> You're back on it's crazy dude bro, i don't play a lot i played a lot of online games like it was mostly horror games because you know dude fable 2 was defining like it changed gaming bro i don't name another game and i promise you i've never played it oh you played played like the classics like what? like crash bandicoot okay well, i mean that's yeah Spy i'm saying spyro like, you know like i've never played halo before i never played like what's another like popular uh um what's that one the character's name's tracer um uh, <laughs> Overwatch? That. I've never played that. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, it was a bad... Of course, you know, it was a bad freaking channel. If, you know, I got yeah, rid of play, it. If you play Overwatch out there and you're listening or watching, May is Bay. That's my main. I love her to death. I have no idea. And, uh, I played Mortal Evil Kombat, players. but... Oh, man. I will never play Mortal Kombat with you ever again. Oh, no, you will. It was fun, though. Bro. I was really good. That's, like, one game. That's when I sat down and um, I just wanted to be like, I want to be good at this. So let's let's figure it out. And I got. Did I tell you how deep I got into that game? So before, uh, I forgot whoever put on Test Your Might. That's a forum for uh, um, all MK players, M uh, MK9 players to go and look at combos and strategies and stuff like mm -hmm. that. There was this uh, guide that broke down the game in frames. Like he would record his footage and then go into like a video editor or whatever and look at it frame by frame. You know, and then he would figure out like a down one, which is a punch, and you're crouching is four frames. 
So, and if you block how long it takes for your hand to come back, and it's six frames, so that means if you punch, you're at plus four frames, so you can do another move that is equally four frames or lower than that, right? Mm -hmm. I was already doing that. And I missed the so boat. So it could be like a punch and a punch before he could do a block. Exactly. So and then I I was figuring out like frame traps and stuff like that way before this got spoiled. And I was like I missed out on a huge opportunity of like letting go, like being selfish and keeping my tech in, in house. And then that guy put it on the forums and became famous for. It. I was like, "Ugh. It never pays to be be selfish." Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> oh man. But man, I remember playing you and I could not get down yeah and you're like get down off those get down i was like i can't you have me in the air <laughs> yeah oh it was so annoying but it was the funniest thing dude it's like everything i was trash at a game for a year and then it just clicked yeah because whenever you said oh you know breaking down the frames i was like what the hell is this guy even talking about yeah. like what it's insane man yeah well, you want to wrap this up? Uh, yeah, uh, you do the outro this time. I've been all doing right, it right. in the last two. Guys, are ready for a captions edition for this out out outro? Oh, fumbled on that word. Yeah. All right. Um, if you like it, like it. <laughs> Share the damn link. <laughs> and if you want to hear more of our annoying voices, subscribe, please. And um, good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> Whatever you are, if you're driving, you listen to podcasts. Please drive safe. And uh, you got anything, Justin? Uh, as always, uh, thanks for listening. If you're on SoundCloud, thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube, links to the descriptions and below. Make sure you check out our main YouTube channels. And thank you for watching to the or thank you for listening to the K and J podcast. There you go, and watching if you're on YouTube. Also, yeah. that bell is so important. Please ring it so you know exactly when we're going live. We're we're gonna start live podcast yeah. soon, but when we're uploading new podcasts and stuff like that. All right. All right. Peace. Peace.